God, our maker, you guide us as the sheep of your fold. When we stray into rebellion and unbelief, bring us back to the storm, that we may follow your ways and listen to the voice of our shepherd who gives us eternal life, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Psalm 94. O Lord of Benjamin God, O God of vengeance, show yourself. Rise up, O judge of the world. Give to the arrogant their just deserts. How long shall the wicked, O Lord? How long shall the wicked triumph? They bluster in their insolence. All evildoers are full of boasting. They crush your people, O Lord and afflict your very home. They kill the widow and the stranger, and put the orphans to death. And they say the Lord does not see, the God of Jacob takes no notice. Consider well, you most brutish people, 
You fools, when will you be wise? Does the one who planted the ear not hear? Does the one who formed the eye not see? Does the one who disciplines the nations not punish? Does the one who teaches all humankind lack knowledge? The Lord knows our human thoughts, how like a puff of wind they are. Happy are they whom you discipline, O Lord, those whom you teach from your law. You give them rest in evil days, until a pit is dug for the wicked. For you will not abandon your people, nor will you forsake your very home. For judgment will again be just, and all the upright of heart will follow it. Who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will take a stand for me against the evildoers? If the Lord had not been my help, I should soon have dwelt in the land of silence. As often as I said, my foot has slipped, your steadfast love, O Lord, upheld me. When anxious thoughts fill my mind, your consolations cheer my soul. Can a seat of injustice be allied with you, one which frames evil into law? They conspire against the life of the righteous, and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my stronghold, my God is my rock of refuge. Who will turn back their wickedness against them and destroy them in their own sin? The Lord our God will destroy them. Almighty God, do not abandon your people, but defend us from the power of the enemy. Grant that those who suffer for the sake of justice may find consolation in the cross of Christ and be filled with your peace now and always through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. Oh, I'm sorry, Psalm 103, 1 through 13. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all oh God's benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with steadfast love and mercy? Who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's? O oh Lord, you provide vindication and justice for all who are oppressed. You made known your ways to Moses, and your works to the children of Israel. Lord, you are full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. You will not always accuse us, nor will you keep your anger forever. You have not dealt with us according to our sins, nor repaid us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, 
So great is your steadfast love for those who fear you. As far as the east is from the west, so far have you removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so you have compassion for those who fear you, O Lord. Passionate Father, you forgive all our sins and put them far from us. As an eagle to her young, you nourish and renew us with your tender love. Sustain us each day of our mortal life, that we may seek your healing for all who are in need. And bring us at last with saints and angels to bless and praise you forever. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. In 359. Where charity and love prevail, there God is ever found. Brought here to together by Christ's love. By love with us are bound, with grateful joy and holy fear, God's charity we learn. Let us with heart and mind and soul now love God in return. Let us recall that in our midst dwells Christ our Holy Son, as members of each body joined, in Him we are made one. Let strife among us be unknown. Let all contention cease. He got the glory that we seek. It is our holy peace. Let us forgive each other's faults as we are wrong confess. That we may love each other less in Christian A reading from Genesis. Realizing that their father was dead, Joseph's brothers said, What if Joseph still bears a grudge against us and pays us back in full for all the wrong that we did to him? So they approached Joseph, saying, Your father gave this instruction before he died. Say to Joseph, I beg you, forgive the crime of your brothers and the wrong they did in harming you. Now, therefore, please 
Forgive the crime of the servants of the God of your father. Joseph wept when they spoke to him. Then his brothers also wept, fell down before him, and said, We are here as your slaves. But Joseph said to them, Do not be afraid. Am I in the place of God? Even though you intended to do harm to me, God intended it for good in order to preserve a numerous people as he is doing today. So have no fear. I myself will provide for you and for your little ones. In this way he reassured them, speaking kindly to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today is the 13th of September. In 1971, inmates at Attica Prison in New York revolted and took control of their facility, presenting a list of demands to the governor of New York that included removal of the warden, better living conditions, and amnesty for those who had participated in the uprising. On September 13th, a combined military and police force stormed the prison. By the end of the day, 31 prisoners and nine prison guards were dead. As we remember the prisoners and guards who died at Attica, we are also mindful of the fact that more than 1% of the U.S. population is incarcerated today. Also noteworthy are the Oslo Accords, signed on September 13, 1993, a milestone in the ongoing conflict in the Middle East. They were the first direct face-to-face -face agreements between the government of Israel and the Palestine Liberation Organization, and were intended to be a framework for ongoing relations and negotiations in this troubled area of the Holy Land. Clarence Jordan, co-founder of Koinonia Farm, wrote, The good news of the resurrection is not that we shall die and go home with him, but that he is risen and comes home with us, bringing all his hungry, naked, thirsty, sick, prisoner brothers with him.
Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from our eyes shall break upon us. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, God of the house of your servants, David. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Through your holy prophets, you promised the hope to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears, and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our lives. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. Especially we thank you for the sustaining witness of your creation. For the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness. For the gifts of relationship with others. For the communion of faith in your church. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world, heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world. For the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare. For all who work for peace and international harmony. For all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction. For the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. O Lord God, 
Merciful Judge, you are the inexhaustible fountain of forgiveness. Replace our hearts of stone with hearts that love and adore you, that we may delight in doing your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Look with mercy, gracious God, upon people everywhere who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Rouse us from our complacency and help us to eliminate cruelty wherever it is found. Strengthen those who seek equality for all. Grant that everyone may enjoy a fair portion of the abundance of the earth through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God of justice, for, your, for our sake, your Son was condemned as a criminal. Visit our jails and prisons with your judgment and mercy. Remember all prisoners, Bring the guilty to repentance and amendment of life according to your will, and give hope for the future. For those who are held unjustly, raise up for them advocates to bring them release, and give us the wisdom to improve our system of justice. Watch over those who work in these institutions, give them strength and compassion, and keep them from becoming brutal or callous. Lead us to do for those in prison what we would do for Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Lord, help us see that prison takes many forms in all nations. From the steel bars of injustice and unforgiveness to the open fields of consumerism and spirit-killing entertainment. Equip us by your Spirit's power to free one another from the various prisons in which we find ourselves. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as in heaven, give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, 
Peace of Christ be with you always. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you'll join us at Atonement. We worship on Zoom at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You can find that link in the description below, as well as ways you can support us and ways you can find out more about us. I should let you know that we are moving towards a hybrid worship where we will have in-person gatherings on Sunday morning as well as continuing our Zoom worship service and continuing to post on YouTube. So while there will be some changes um, in terms of vantage point and sound quality, and we'll be working those things out, hopefully this will continue uninterrupted for you. I hope you'll join me again very soon for daily prayer. We pray morning, evening, and night, seven days a week. Until the next time, God bless. <laughs>